Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about one of the functions of dplyr package which is one of the very useful package in R for transforming your data into information. So let's go and talk about the summarize function in this video, the main topic of this video. So summarize is basically, uh, as the name suggests, is to help uh, summarizing the data and the function is again very simple, you will just go and use uh, write the summarize but summarize will not come until unless you you will import the library since i have already imported it that's why i'm getting it so if you have not done that go ahead and use uh, library uh, deep ir <coughs> and you will start getting the functions if you are not getting so summarize and then it says name of the data set which is empty cars C A R S and then some basically specify the function and column. So within the mean, let's say we want MPG and hit enter. So that's how you can easily get it. Again, as I've mentioned in my previous video, if you want to change the name to some sort of a meaningful one, then go back and say mean underscore MPG is equals to this. So you will get a proper name. If you have more than one variable, you can specify that also. So mean underscore dspl is to displacement is equals to mean of dspl if I'm not wrong. Daspl. Let's see. Error. So let's quickly see the head of empty cars. It was disp. Alright. So I will go back and the isp and I was and I over here and doing this. Now I have mean underscore mpg mean underscore displacement. Now the next thing is about uh, summer the different variations of the summarize function. So in that way you can simply go ahead and spec keep on specifying. But let's say you want to apply it again on the multiple uh, columns. For example, earlier in one of my videos. Uh, where I've shown how to select the variables we have seen that uh, How we can get all the values of those columns which has the letter P. So let's see if we want to take the uh, those variables which has the letter P and uh, Summarize it. So for that we will use the variation of summarize which is summarize underscore at and name of the data set and within the uh, columns you will specify variables and here we will say contains and within the contains we will see p and once it is done then we will specify the function and that happens within the funds uh this function so let's say we want mean and median let's hit enter now we have mpg underscore mean displace underscore mean wherever the the letter p is coming as we have specified the contains parameter so summarize underscore add is helpful where you want to use the select helpers function which is contains starts with ends with and all that which i have shown in my previous video and you want to apply the operation on it and don't have to specify again and again if that is the kind of condition or the analysis you are looking for so that's about summarize underscore add and the next thing we may want to cover is the if function summarize underscore if and that basically you know tells us uh, to specify condition it says tab table predicate and function so let's say uh, we want to say that wherever the numerical values are coming we want to summarize that so empty cars empty cars is dot numeric and just remove the function because we want to use it as a predicate and then uh, the function name as it specifies so which is let's say mean and remove it so once we have it you get it for everyone uh, mpg cyl displacement and everyone but in normal scenario uh, if you have a proper formatted data set the if the values like cyl or let's say am vs all of these are basically your factor variables which are repetitive in nature so let's try to make it 
uh, empty try to remove it from uh, by creating a new data set so empty cars underscore ft to create a factor and just take the empty cars data set and empty cars underscore ft dollar let's say in cylinder we want to change it first of all and go ahead and change it so as dot factor to convert it into a factor and say empty cars square ft dollar cyl or is it so now it is changed to uh, factor variable and if i try to run my previous command empty cars underscore ft and try it again i will not get cylinder which i have got it earlier so that's the basic difference that uh, once you have the data set which is properly formatted for those factor variables character numeric variables you will get the right output and here we can see that since cylinder was a factor variable and when we converted into a proper factor variable it did not get it uh, within the numerical output columns which is for summarize underscore at and we are uh, i'm sorry summarize underscore if and we are specifying the variable so just to double check that summarize underscore at is also not showing however we were checking it for the summarize underscore if so if i go and some to this for summarize underscore if it will not show yeah so i need to just change the data set where i have the function which is ft and now it will not show me summarize underscore if so idea is that uh, you want to specify the condition and with based on that condition you want to uh, you want to get the output the next thing is uh, summarizing all of the variables so for that you have the uh, the pre-written function which is summarize underscore all and you just specify then data set which is empty cars underscore ft and within the function specify the different functions mean median and maybe another one as t if there is one no that's not bad all right go ahead and enter it so it's saying argument is not numeric or logical so that is basically coming because we have specified the factor variable earlier and what it is expecting all the numerical variable so if i go back and change it it will give me the output but the main problem is that if you encounter such and such an issue then obviously you don't have all of the variables which are numeric which is the kind of expectation for it but if you want to uh, analyze the factor variable then you need to basically go ahead and uh, do a little bit different operations where you will say empty cars underscore ft and specify that variable and here we have the, uh, the cyl as factor variable and within the functions let's say we want n levels just want to identify the number of levels for all the very all the data all the values that it has so it's basically saying that it has three levels and you got you get the output so whenever you have factor variable you have to you know treat them separately from a numerical variable within the summarize underscore all to get the related output so that's pretty much all about it the summarize function and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic